It's been 13 years since the original Saw movie. That's crazy. So, is this one worth a watch? Why does everything have to be political? Are there actually biblical truths in Saw? And is this movie worth a watch? Well, let's find out in this review of Jigsaw. Now this movie was made for $10 million, which is crazy low for a project like this. I was blown away they made it for that little amount of money. Good news is it's already made $35 million worldwide. It's doing pretty well. It was made by the Spirit Brothers, who are all really good directors. So, is this movie worth a watch? If you watch reviews or if you go on Rotten Tomatoes, you have no idea because critics hate this movie. Viewers love it. I'll give you a reason why. <laughs> for one, critics oftentimes forget that people just want to be entertained. This movie accomplishes that, and a lot of times the viewers that are paying for a ticket who wanted to sit there want to turn off their brain and be entertained for an hour and a half. And this movie accomplishes that for an hour and a half, so that's why people love it. Critics didn't really like it so much. Now before I go any further, spoilers ahead. So basically, Jigsaw is back, or is he? As four people are trapped into an elaborate game of death and must atone for their sins. But what are their sins? Who are these people? And can the detectives track them down in time to save them? But it is most important during these games of death to know that sexist comments will never be okay. And also, if people don't feel like doing anything, you shouldn't make them do it. I'm not kidding. I, I was about to explode in this movie when I saw this happening. At one point, Jigsaw says everyone must atone for their sins. And of course, the, the straight white male in, in the game of death is like, all right, what everyone do? What's your sin? What's your sin? And there's a girl sitting there. He's like, what's your sin, honey? And she's like, honey, my name is Anne. And I'm like... What? Like, that's more important right now than literally saving people's lives and people losing arms in front of you? Also, during one of the scenes, one of the girls who's obviously done something wrong, it's her, now it's her game, where she has to stick one of three needles in her neck. One needle is a cure, one needle is a, uh, it's nothing, and one needle is going to kill her. She starts freaking out, she's like, I can't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it, and because she won't do it, they all get hung by their necks, they're all about to die, and so the guy, at the last second, the straight white male, stabs her in the neck with all three. And then because he did it, they all get free and they can move on. But then everyone gets livid at him like, how dare you, it was her choice. And it's like, what? Yeah, she chose to kill all of us. Are you joking me? Like, that was stupid. Like, oh, uh, and, and even like the, the black kid comes up and he's like, dude, what the hell, bro? And it's like, what do you mean? It was, she wasn't gonna do it she, because she didn't feel like it. We're all gonna die. I mean, it's just uh, unbelievable. Anyway, let's get into my critic view of this movie. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. The problem with this new movie was it had seven years to recreate itself. But what it chose to do was kind of go back to the original themes that caught some magic while still including some of the crazy gore that happened in the later movies to mesh it together into a better movie. Now what it did was it, it made a better movie than the past like three or four, but it didn't really capture the magic of the first and it didn't recreate itself like it could have because it's kind of restarting at this point. It was well shot, it was pretty well acted by at least the, the main three players. There were some people that were weaker throughout it, but I thought as a whole, the film was okay. It was just like, nah, in that world. Now as a viewer, it's gonna score higher. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. And you can see this from the viewer reviews that have seen the movie. If you wanna just kick back and enjoy yourself and kinda of unplug your brain, it allows you to do that because there's enough twists and turns and excitement in it to grab your attention. It's fun to sit with someone and be like, ah, oh, you think it's this person, this person, this person, this person, and you, get, you kinda of get to figure it out together. Also, they give you that classic twist at the end and nothing is better than you get to go back and see how everything happened without it when they kind of tie the dots together for you, unlike the Snowman movie. They actually do give the dots for you at the end. You're like, oh, that was kind of cool and you can appreciate it. It was fun, it was it was short enough too where you never get bored and they didn't have to distract you with over the top gore. They kind of like took the gore and blood back a little bit so you could think more and just kind of enjoy the uh, mystery thriller of the movie itself. Now my faith and values review of this is actually gonna be a three out of five, believe it or not. Now I'm not saying you should just go see this movie because it, there's also some horrible stuff in it. But I'm saying the original movie, the reason why it did so well is there's some truth to what it's, what's going on. <laughs> All right, now let, now let me explain. The first movie is a great commentary on the horrors that people are capable of. Like all these people seem nice at first and you see that, oh my gosh, this person did what? And it's all disguised behind this elaborate, horrible game. But the real horror is what people are capable of, right? Now in these movies too, it shows that most people only faced with certain death will admit their fault and their sins. 
And when they confess and repent, they are now freed from it. However, most people in the movies will confess after a little while, but they don't often repent. Repentance means action. And a lot of them fall back to their own ways where they betray someone or try to cheat. And this ends up maiming or killing everybody. Okay, that's kind of the gist of Saw itself. Fortunately, in life, and, and in biblical sense, God doesn't give us this elaborate death trap to go through. He lets us make our own decisions. And when we, when we sin and we fall away from the path that he's given us, you eventually go down to a valley. But when you freely accept Jesus Christ, you are born again and made anew. And in Saw, you're never made anew. You're often, you know, have a lot of problems and you're maimed. So, anyway, that's my review of Jigsaw. Hoping the next movie will be more enjoyable and fun. But until then, I'm Ben Davies, and this is The Real Rebel Review. All right, if you like this video and others like it, please consider becoming a premium member to The Rebel. That way you'll have first access to Pure Hollywood and the entire Rebel lineup.